45 degrees and there's a 30% chance it's already raining. I'm the only one in this house that knows. But we're about to get crapped on. Here we go, starting the vlog in our trusty old kitchen. Just gonna start by addressing the elephant in the room. Yeah. Why do you always have to comment on that? It has been over a year, year and a half maybe, since I've gotten a cold. I think because we've all been inside for so long, our immune systems are toast now. I can't be the only one. I think we all forget like it's normal to get sick. So that's what we're dealing with. I'm about to take some medicine. But I got my first package. Right the fit. The headband was a nice touch. In case you're new here or in case you just don't pay attention. I never paid attention in school. I don't blame you. I have recently moved to Florida. I think I'm about April 9th to May 9th. May 9th to June 9th. April, May, June, July. Four months or three months? Four? I don't know. I dropped out of college. I'm originally from Wisconsin and we don't have hurricanes. I don't even know if it's possible to have a hurricane in Wisconsin. But recently I have been told that there is a little, little girl hurricane. Her name is Elsa. Hold on. You look a little fuzzy. Her name is Elsa and she's coming to destroy my life. One of my biggest fears of moving here was the thunderstorms, the rain. I hate storms, I hate thunder, I hate lightning, meaning I hate hurricanes. There's a little one coming right for Tampa. I'm in St. Petersburg, but potato, potato. St. Petersburg and Tampa are the same thing. And maybe those of you that are from Tampa and St. Petersburg are gonna like roast me for saying that, but by the time it gets here, I think they say it's gonna be a tropical storm. That's still 65 mile per hour winds. This storm is going highway speeds. Why are we going so fucking fast? And I don't know if I'm gonna lose power when I tell you I bought a George Foreman propane grill. So I could still cook SpaghettiOs? I mean it. The storm is supposed to get here tomorrow night and we're gonna experience it together. Whether it's nothing or it's the worst thing I've ever experienced. My apartment's literally windows. So I'm hoping when they built this apartment, the architects took into consideration that we live in St. Petersburg, Florida and there are hurricanes. I ordered a bunch of different power banks and I'm gonna charge all of these just in case I lose power for a long time. I also have a full tank of gas, or I can use my car to charge my phone too. I got four of these small ones that came in two packs. They're actually really heavy. I don't know how many times they're supposed to charge your phone, but at least four times. I'm not having a dead phone. I'm gonna have no other entertainment. I do have books that I could read, but I have five power banks, and I think this one counts as like three. I'm so prepared. I feel like a native Florida. Although all of the native Floridians aren't freaking out. They're like, are you stupid? It's a tropical storm. Okay, well at one point she was a hurricane, so it counts. Hurricane Elsa is my first hurricane. This is the update on my room. Obviously my sign's not on, but Daryl was just here and he built my bed for me. This bed has storage underneath it. I can lift it up and put stuff away. But look at this. Look at her. I bought a grid to put on this wall to hold all my sunglasses. Gerald also built me this dresser because I don't have enough room for my clothes. I went and bought a TV for my room because I really thought that I wouldn't want to sit in my room and watch TV. I was wrong. I bought one vlog you never thought you were gonna see for me is hanging out with Sam during a hurricane. Cause I never thought I'd put myself in this position because I'm really afraid of thunderstorms. That's my room update. I'm going to bed. Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I just wish things would get better. It's officially the day of the Elsa. I'm about to run down to the grocery store Sunglasses make me look more put together. I have plenty of cat food and dog food, and plenty of litter. My cats and my dogs, they're chilling. But I don't have Sam food, so I'm gonna change that. We're gonna run to the grocery store really quick, and then we're gonna come back here and get our day started. I took NyQuil last night, so it was really hard to wake up this morning. But it's all good, it's all good. Update on the storm. It is a hurricane again. Category one hurricane right now. Elsa, do you want to go somewhere else? Over there would be just fine. You see, I'm not from here and I'm scared of you. I want to get rid of you. Close my eyes. 
That does not look so pretty. A little update on the storm. It is a hurricane again. Category one hurricane right now. Duncan's grass pads are still outside. I pulled everything else inside, but I weighed them down. So hopefully they won't go anywhere. If I notice they start to blow, I'm just gonna have to bear the storm and go out there and get them. It is moving fast. It's like a wall. That just looks so terrifying. No rain, rain. No rain, rain. At least we'll share the first moments of this hurricane together. I think I'm as prepared as I can be. I have a bunch of like flashlights and batteries and my car has gas. I've got lots of dog and cat food and cat litter and plenty of water for all of us. I did ration water for my animals as well. If the power goes out, so does the water. I have a bunch of clothes. Hey, do sit on my new clothes. My phone's like dead though. I charged all of those portable chargers, but I didn't charge my phone. Boom bow, that's how you fix that. Perfect. <laughs> Sam, it's a hurricane. Why the fuck are you in a swimsuit? My name is Samantha Schreiber. It's 81 degrees. And there's a 30% chance it's already raining. Bye, bitch. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> Maybe we'll go outside and play in the rain once it starts raining more. I looked at the radar and realized that's not even the hurricane, it's just the rain. A few moments later. Little update. I don't have anything big. I just took sinus medications because I have chronic sinus infections. I haven't had to take antibiotics for them in like two years though. I was gonna try to do vocal exercises so I don't sound as icky, but that might just make my throat hurt worse. Okay. It's almost six, it's 5.55. What is that? That has to be an angel number. What does that mean? The vibration of angel number 555 is all about taking action and just going for it. Maybe I should go play the lottery. I changed clothes, because obviously I was in a swimsuit for fun, Z's, okay? I'm not actually gonna wear a freaking swimsuit, you weirdos. You can kind of see my nipples, I didn't put a bra on. I mean, if I was skinny and you could see my nipples, you wouldn't be offended. So you shouldn't be offended by my pepperoni nipples, okay? Okay. Fun pants to try and brighten my mood. And I have decided to relax in my bedroom. Maybe put, you see those clothes? Maybe put those away. Zipping up the sweatshirt to protect the nips, you know. I'm still using this as my chair. If you guys watched me clean my room, you know I broke my freaking chair. And so many of you guys in the comment section are trying to make me feel better about it, which I really appreciate. You guys are the best, I love you. I went to Sephora a little bit ago. I wanted to do my makeup later. Look how cool this eyeshadow palette looks. It's the Naughty palette. I got the Georgia blush, some eyelashes, the Glow-ish Skin Tint by Huda Beauty, which I think I saw that makeup girl on TikTok talk about it and say it was good. I've been really wanting to do my eyeshadow. I just haven't had time. It's this fairly basic Marc Jacobs one. The packaging just makes me so happy. So maybe we'll do our makeup in a little bit for no reason because the power is going to be out. Doing our makeup in the dark. I also bought a glow kit from Anastasia because I realized I only have one highlighter. I got rid of literally all of my makeup when I moved here. So slowly I've been buying some more because I really enjoy wearing it. Although it's kind of hard to wear makeup in the Florida heat. I've never bought a Fenty highlighter. Someone has touched this before. Ew. Oh well, I'll just touch it. Ooh, ah, beautiful. That's what we like to see. I should go on voice rest. Do re mi fa so la so fa do. Do 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 And on that note, I'm gonna watch Umbrella Academy. Gang's all here except for Snickers. Snickers likes to stay out of the drama. She doesn't include herself. Bitch! It's just a bunch of siblings fighting. My boyfriend's a big believer in tea. Like, growing up, whenever he didn't feel good, his family made him tea. When he was here, he bought this herbal tea. I am reluctantly going to make myself some hot tea. I'm gonna be doing this the lazy way, which is I'm gonna put some water in the microwave. This is the most confusing packaging I've ever seen. It's gonna take two tea bags. I 
made myself some tea. Tastes like ass, but it's supposed to make me feel better, so. I'm currently watching Umbrella Academy. Who wouldn't know that show is so good and it's been sitting on Netflix this whole time. Wake me up when Elsa hits. As you can tell by outside, it's so much later. Since I've been doing the Chloe Ting challenge, I've been trying to be healthier with my food choices. Since I don't feel the greatest, I'm not super hungry. I'm also just anxious about this weather. So we're just having fruit for dinner. Honestly, it's really good. My reflection in the viewfinder right here looks like a person. I've been laying around waiting for this storm to come. The hurricane's actually supposed to hit while I'm sleeping. That's kind of anticlimactic for you because I love you, but I am not staying up until 2 a.m. to film it. So what I think we're gonna do is get ready for bed, do all of our nighttime things. I'm sure before I move from Florida, we'll experience a more eventful hurricane. I mean, it looks really windy outside and I can't show you because it's so dark outside, but it's blowing. Front row seats to Hurricane Elsa. Poor trees, and birds, and animals, and people. It's a reminder that you should be very grateful for what you have, because I have a safe place to be, or as safe as you can be. But there are some people who do not have that luxury, and trees never stood a chance. They didn't ask to be a tree. I finished my dinner. I have this So Good, So You Beauty Probiotic Shot. Grapefruit juice, apple juice, and berries, silica, biotin. Least I can do is make my hair look good. Spicy. The first thing we have to do is put together flashlights so I can find my way to the bathroom if the power goes out. I tracked down the flashlight that I bought. As you can tell, I still have power, but I got this big thing. How do you know what direction to put the batteries in? I'm just gonna assume it's this way. This can be spooky. Okay, so we have this one. Just your basic flashlight, you know? Nothing too crazy. I bought this lantern thing to carry around and like set down. I think I don't need it right now. And I'm tired and I don't want to put the effort to open this pack of D batteries. Because this is plenty bright. Like this would definitely light up the night sky. Easy access if I have to go poop. People are out driving, so it can't be that bad. You can kind of see it raining in this puddle over here. Just looks like a normal storm to me. And I'm afraid of thunderstorms, and this isn't even freaking me out. This is the app that I've been using to track it. This is me. This is the hurricane currently. I'm a meteorologist. Okay, like now. So it's gonna get bad in the next like hour and then it's gonna be pretty much over by 2 a.m. But right now, this is how close she is. I feel like you're invested in the hurricane content now, but I cannot control the weather. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna set an alarm for like an hour from now and I'll wake up and see if I can get a little clip of it. But I think I'm gonna make it through this one and I'm not as scared anymore. Nighty night.